Welcome everybody. I am so, I've been so excited about being here today. Uh, I've been planning this for about a week, but I have the CEO of Lear, uh, a brand new industry here in Dublin, and Nicole DePorzio. And uh, uh, I know you're excited because Very. Lear is not only uh, a large company but you're big on community too aren't you we are we have a foundation it's the Lear West fabrication foundation um, we are planning to um, we are new here to East Dublin and planning to uh, do a golf outing to um, give back to children and veterans in the community is that's our our focus right now well what better team? I mean, we have the VA hospital, serves 49 uh, counties, uh, about 100,000 veterans. It brings a lot to our economy here. So, uh, and uh, I know you, uh, I come by yesterday and y'all were erecting that, uh, how tall a flagpole? Um. Do you know? Um, I, I'm, I believe it's about 100 foot. I yes. saw that crane as I was, I was probably crossing the bridge. I'm exaggerating there, but I could see it from way, way out there. Good, that's what we want. <laughs> that's what we wanted. Well, that shows you um, we love um, we love the South, obviously, because you're putting this here in East Dublin, and uh, uh, we love our veterans. We love our country. Yes, we are so excited to be here in East Dublin. I mean, this opportunity came, and we just got it, and we're happy to see our our business grow and grow into this community and the surrounding com communities as well. Well, Lear West, uh, you're talking about a state-of-the-art facility here. Uh, they have a culture for uh, success. Mm -hmm. And talk a little bit about, uh, and I was looking online at some of the structures that y'all participate in, but uh, just tell our viewers a little bit about what you do. So we are a steel fabrication company. However, we have some state-of-the-art equipment. Um, we have the Prodevco, which is um, a robotic arm per yeah. se and it cuts all our beams um our it increases our productivity um less error mm -hmm. uh it's it's great this is our flow which is our water jet mm -hmm. and can any any kind of metal design printing we do stuff for um aerospace marine cutting out through with our metal yeah. with the water jet well y'all do uh uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I know uh, I was seeing nuclear plants and uh, all kind of steel structures. We do. We do um, a lot of steel buildings mm -hmm. um, and structural steel mm -hmm. is what we do. Well, uh, you're, you're ready. You're up and running. Uh, still got some growing to do, but yeah. I think you got another 26 acres to grow out here, don't you? We do. We do, and we hope to expand on it. Yep. Yep. Okay, let's talk about your employees. I know you're only as good, whether you're a TV station or wherever, you're only as good as your people. Talk about them a minute. Oh, we have a great team. Um, my partner, Kim Bailey, um, she is the director of marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my husband on, on staff. He is the director of operations. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Bailey, he is the um, director of sales. Uh, we have my sister-in-law, Jennifer DePorzio, she is our chief financial officer. Mm -hmm. um, and we also just added a new employee for this location, Trey. He's our, um, Trey, B I can't pronounce his last name, Baird, Trey Baird. Mm -hmm. He is our uh, controller here yeah. in Dublin. So they're all, we have, a, and uh, the people that work in our shop, excellent team, mm -hmm. very proficient. <laughs> Uh, well, that's that's an understatement. She's being humble there because I've already met some of the people here. They're 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 actually more than that, and and I know you are. I've already talked to you some off camera, but uh, but I don't want you to be humble. I want to brag on you here. That's what my job is. <laughs> so I'm just proud that y'all are here in Lawrence County in East Dublin. Um, uh, you are. Uh, going to have uh, with your partnership with Oconee Fall Line Technical College. We are internships, paid internships. Yes. Yes. So we're yeah. very excited about that, and with the opportunity to come on board with us here mm -hmm. when they're finished with schooling. Yeah. Oconee Fall Line is. You couldn't have a better partner to uh, train your people. To mm -hmm. uh, they build 
they build around what you do. Exactly. So, um, uh, and you're going to have some good skilled labor coming out of that. So, uh, okay. Well, we're going to take uh, anything else before we go that you'd like to share about the company? No, we're just happy to be here, and everybody's been great. The community's been great, very welcoming. Uh, we're just very happy to be here and, and hope to expand and create more job opportunities for everybody here. Well, I'm biased. I grew up here, but you couldn't be in a better place. Uh, this is the South, uh, Lawrence County, fourth largest county in the state of Georgia, mm -hmm. so you got a lot of room to grow, so congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, ma'am. We'll be back right after this. From humble beginnings with a desire to serve the Dudley community, Bank of Dudley has grown to five locations, serving Lawrence, Twiggs, and surrounding counties. Serving our community since 1905, the Bank of Dudley is looking forward to its second century of community banking. Drop in today to any of our five locations, Jeffersonville, Dudley, East Dublin, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Bank of Dudley, member FDIC, and an equal housing lender. It's planting season at Roach Farm and Garden. Plant your fruit trees now. Roach Farm and Garden has fruit trees as low as $32.99. Blueberry bushes, winter veggies, even have some seed potatoes left. Don't wait for them weeds to come up. Spray now for them summer weeds. Soil test, soil test, soil test. Bring your results by and we will get you exactly what you need. From lime to fertilizer and all to weed prevention, Roach Farm and Garden can carry it all. If you priced eggs lately, Roach Farm and Garden has brooders, pens, waters, and feeders. Roach Farm and Garden has rabbits, chicks coming soon. Go ahead and stock up on feed. At Roach Farm and Garden, we have feed for just about everything. Is hunting season really ever over? The answer is no. Roach Farm and Garden has boss bug feeders, a huge selection of deer feed, salt blocks, and trophy rock. Remember, do it right, do it smart. Roach Farm and Garden, two locations, Dublin and Wrightsville. Welcome back everybody. Now I have Brian, you heard us talking about him. He was off camera. Uh, so he's actually listening to what we were saying, but listen, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about uh, what industries do y'all serve? Um, predominantly we're in the structural steel, miscellaneous metals markets. Um, uh, we're also getting into the aerospace market with um, our water jet system. Uh, where our construction division does a lot of natural gas uh, compressor stations and oil industry. Um, but yeah, our mainstay here is, uh, you know, our bread and butter is structural, mm -hmm. structural steel. And what geographic area do you cover? Uh, I would say we're probably in a, about a 300 mile radius, probably from South Carolina through Florida over towards uh, Alabama. Mm -hmm. And tell me, a customer watch and prospective customer, uh, why should they do business with Lear West? Well, we spent a lot of money and a lot of time trying to get the right equipment in place um, to reduce errors. Uh, we've got a lot of automated robotic equipment, um, you know, so that we've got high tolerances, we've got, um, you know, uh, less of a opportunity to make uh, human error mm -hmm. uh, as far as measurement and layout and stuff like that. So. We've really tried to focus on automating our systems so that we can reduce um, errors and put out a high quality product. With all this equipment and more equipment to come probably, how do you ensure the safety of your employees? Well, our employees are onboarded with a, a safety program where we'll sit down and train them on how to properly use the equipment, proper um, PPE that's needed for what you're doing on the project. and. Uh, we just want to make sure that our employees are safe. We want everybody going home with all their fingers and, and you know, yeah. get home safe. And um, we uh, make sure that happens in the shop every day. That's our number one priority is safety. Okay, we talked a little bit a while ago about your relationship with Oconee Fall Line Technical College. What are you looking for out of that relationship from you and from them? Well, uh, several things. I mean, number one, I think that's important for us to be able to take real life applications and um, you know instill them into their programs um, we want them to you know take some of our technology that we're using here and introduce that in the classroom mm -hmm. so that when they come out they're prepared you know they can be doing an internship with us they can um, be getting paid but also have a head start yeah. on you know some of the education 
Um, also, you know, we really want to feed back to the community. We want to hire local. Um, you know, we want the, our program uh, to work with them. And, you know, our plant manager, Randall Harris, has been added to the um, advisory board. And um, we had a meeting with them. And, you know, I just think it's a great way to, to bring together schooling and, you know, industry and have a good mesh to, you know, get these uh, kids prepared because, you know, it's all about training the next generation. Yeah, and now that's said a lot to me to, to add them to the board of directors because you got a seat at the table. Of course, you listen to all your employees, but you got a seat at the table when you're solving problems, coming up with new ideas. And with that, I want to ask you, how does customer feedback um, help with the culture that you have here? Well, customer feedback, I mean, as well as you well know, is if your customers aren't happy, you're not going to be successful. <laughs> so, I mean, we're, we're constantly trying to make sure that, um, you know, we're getting the products out the way of the customers want them, the right tolerances. So customer feedback is of ultimate importance to us. Man, thank you so much for talking to me. We're thank so you. glad you're here in uh, Dublin, we're east of in Lawrence County. So. Uh, uh, I, I hope for a lot of years of success. You got a big place to grow here. Yep, yep. Um, I like to see it one day, just buildings everywhere out here. That's what we're shooting for. We're going to take it one step at a time, though. Work through the kinks because we want to make sure our stuff goes out right yep. before we're, you know, ready to open up 100% to the public. That's obvious. Okay, thank you so much. Y'all stay with us. We'll be back right after this. Spring is here and it's a perfect time to buy or sell your home or property. And great deals are popping up all over. So call agents Brian Howell, Charlene Lamp, Adam White, David Deves, Jennifer Bradley, Mark Bateman, Jay Brantley, Jim Jarrett, Raina Dubberly, Yvonne Robertson, or broker George Durden today. And get the help you need when it comes to buying or selling your home or property. Log on to C21Dublin.com. Call us at 272-1535 or stop by 1700 Veterans Boulevard in Dublin. Deal with the number one realty company in Dublin and Lawrence County. Century 21, Durden Cornegay. Broker George Durden. My name is uh, Phil Patel. I am one of the part owners here and the general manager here at the Hampton Inn and Suites. First time when I got introduced to Morris Bank, the people were so friendly and helpful. You feel like that you are appreciated there. At Morris Bank, everybody down at the bank is so friendly, and not just to myself, they're just friendly to everybody. They want us to succeed because our success is their success at the same time. That makes a lot of difference, and they're always there for us. Welcome back, everybody. Now, I really, I've already liked both segments, but I love boats, and this is David Bailey, and he's part of heading up Bailey Custom Boats, and uh, you're looking at a fine specimen of a boat. So uh, talk a little bit about this part of the business. Yeah, so with this part, we actually, we build boats, obviously. Um, they're actually made of wood, so from the deck up, they're actually made of what you call reclaimed cypress wood, mm -hmm. uh, sinker cypress. Wow. So what that means is all the wood was actually drug from the bottom of the Mississippi River, and it sat down there for actually <laughs> 150, 200 years before we drug it up, and mm -hmm. just makes it real pretty. Gives a lot of cool properties, like the wood itself is waterproof, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, it's very uh, bug repellent, so you know bugs won't get into it. It's got this kind of oil in it, yeah. some kind of something I don't know. It excretes, just repels all the bugs, and then. It also is just really heavy duty from sitting down there. It does a lot of things to it. Uh, and then we actually got a patent on our hull design as well. Mm -hmm. So the way I like to call, describe it is um, kind of a cross between a tri-tune, a V-hole, and a deck boat all in one. Mm -hmm. And what that does, it just allows for excellent performance, uh, a little bit more maneuverability than your average pontoon boat or deck mm -hmm. boat. Um, definitely a lot more speed. So this one, it weighs about 1,000 pounds more than your average pontoon boat, but horsepower for horsepower without running the other. Yeah. Uh, you got size. me on the bug repellent because anytime I'm out fishing on Lake Sinclair or something, yeah. the bug, and, and especially night fishing, mm -hmm. you got your lights out and I mean, they must be 10,000 oh, bugs. Yeah, for sure. So you, you sold me on that part, but I got to ask you, how did you get probably the best job in the company now? <laughs> I mean, did, did you ask for this or you just? Well, my dad, <laughs> he, uh, he actually came up with the idea for that mm -hmm. uh, about 18 years ago. And never really wanted to go into business with it. He just kind of built a boat for our yeah. family. You know, we didn't have a lot of money back then. And 
wanted to go out to the lake, and he's always had like that problem-solving mentality, I guess you'd say. Mm -hmm. And so if you can't afford one, I'm going to build one. Yeah. And so he built the first one like that about 18 years ago. And like I said, it was just for the family. But I always loved the being outside on the lake, and you know, I always mm -hmm. loved boats and all that good stuff. And I knew that our boats would sell. And so he said, if I sold one and built one, he helped me start it up and get this part of the business going. And so I sold that one and built that one myself. Me and one other guy built it. And so here we are. Just wow, kinda, that is incredible. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, um, I, I'm impressed. It, when you. we walked in, that's the first thing me and Kevin looked at. Uh, we just fell in love with it from the get go. Yeah. I got to know. Uh, now I know two of uh, you said two of you built this one, mm -hmm. but how long does it take to build something like that? So with just them two people, uh, just me and that one other guy working on it, actually took a little over a year. Mm -hmm. um, but with all the stuff we have now in this, you know, new place right here, mm -hmm. you're looking at pushing one out every week, wow. every couple of days. So that increased sales a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a, I'm telling you, I don't want to go through that two person working on it again. That was a lot mm -hmm. of work. It definitely was. Oh, uh, in a year. Yeah. yeah. But I, I'm, I'm looking at that, and I've already walked around it. The quality is incredible. You got to be well, proud of that. I, I'm definitely proud of it. Um, this has definitely opened up and allowed me to do things I never thought mm -hmm. I'd be able to do. But, yeah, I'm proud of it. For sure. So I heard you hold a description. I was hanging on to every word you said mm -hmm. about uh, getting it out. Uh, been there 150 years deep in the waters in yeah. Mississippi, uh, all the advantages. So, and I know you're biased, and I'm biased <laughs> now listening to you, mm -hmm. but is there really any competition out there? Uh, I mean, with that kind of quality of boat, wouldn't you think that the person that wanted something like that would have to come to Lear West? Um, yeah, well, you have your Chris Crafts. Um, Chris Crafts are real pretty boats, so you know, they're made out of wood. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple other ones that are out there that are just as good as Chris Crafts. The um, only problem with them is not a lot of room. Yeah. Uh, not a lot of room. This is kind of the best of. If you're looking for something classy, you know, something that sticks out, catches people's attention. Yeah. Uh, this one right here, it's the best of all worlds. You got your room for your family. You know, it's fast. It goes, I mean, it's yeah. It's just the best of all worlds, in my yeah. opinion. Them big old um, motors on the back. It, yeah. It's got to well, go. it, I'm telling you, it does. Um, <laughs> for sure. Obviously, you tested it. Yeah. No, I've had a lot of fun <laughs> on that thing, for sure. Um, nah, yeah. It's... Uh, It'll last you a long time, too. So a lot of these boats, you know, you buy a new pontoon boat or mm -hmm. something, all aluminum metal or something like that. It's 10 years, 10, 11, 15 years. It's, yeah, you know, it's, it's done. It's time for another one. This one, you take care of it. It'll last you just like a Chris Crafts. You can pass it down generation to generation. Yeah. You know, you're looking at, it's very low maintenance. A lot of people think with the wood and the varnish on it, it's going to mm -hmm. be, you know, every year kind of thing. It's not. It's about every actually eight to 10 to 12 years, depending on how good of care you take of it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you leave it outside, you're looking at closer to the eight year mark. You leave it inside stored, you know, eight, 10 or 12 years before yeah. you have to redo it. And we actually do that for you here too. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's it'll last you a long time. Okay. Last time. Well, uh, good job. First Thank of you. all, you and your partner doing that one. And I'm excited about being able to do one a week here in this state of the art facility. You and me both. Uh, because, uh, I'm not that good at math, but that's 52 a year. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> uh, yeah. that's saying a lot. That'll really pick business up, and I know yeah. you're going to do well. But thank you so much for well, talking thank to you. me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Stay with us. We'll be back right after this. You've dreamed about the perfect house, a place to call your own, and a place to not only stretch out, but to grow. Auto Owners protects your house because to you, it's home. That's simple human sense. Ask Curry Maffet Insurance in Dublin if auto owners make sense for you. Happy to help, man. I was just over there talking to myself anyway. Hometown Supply is welcoming in spring with a bigger and better selection of zero-turn mowers, blowers, string trimmers, and a complete line of power tools for the yard. Hometown Supply has all of your lawn and garden equipment from zero-turn mowers to string trimmers and blowers. We carry all major parts and offer service and repair, so come see us at Hometown Supply. 
And remember, Hometown Supply has a large selection of new and used appliances. And remember, if you can't do business at Hometown Supply, you just can't do business. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you for coming out today to help us celebrate uh, ribbon cutting and grand opening here for Lear West Fabrication and Bailey Custom Boats. Uh, before we get started, we got a great lineup of, of folks who are going to share some remarks with you today. Um, but before we do that, we're going to uh, just have a word of prayer before we get started. If you would bow and pray with me. Father, we thank you so much for a new day of life that you've given us today. Lord, we thank you for a great community to live and learn and work and play each and every day. And we thank you, Lord, for businesses, businesses that in, invest in this community. Uh, and, and thank you particularly for this business today, Lord, for our folks here at Lear West and Bailey Custom Boats. Pray and ask your blessings upon their venture here, that they would have success and, and just a, a great tenure here for many, many years. We thank you for the jobs that they're creating again and for the investment here and, and ask you to bless the owners, the employees, the contractors, Lord, anybody that would have anything to do with, with this investment. We thank you again for a, for a wonderful day, and we ask these things in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So good morning again. My name is Heath Taylor. I'm the president and CEO at the Dublin Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce. And to the entire team here, I know you guys are spread out a little bit, but Lear West and Bailey Custom Boats, thank you so much on behalf of the chamber for your investment in this community. Um, we are here to support you. We've got a great group of folks that are here to support you. Our chamber board members, our chamber ambassadors are here, as well as a very welcoming community, and several of our dignitaries are here today. So with that, I'm going to introduce our first um, speaker today, our mayor of East Dublin. Help me welcome Mr. George Garnto. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Keith. Uh, I'd like to thank all of y'all for coming out this morning to support this venture here. I think it's going to do amazing things. We also want to thank and welcome Lear West and Bailey Custom Boats for choosing to invest in East Dublin and also creating jobs for our local workers. It, uh, it seems that they're going to have a, a good team of people here. They're not up to full speed yet, but they'll soon be up to full speed. But I came out Monday for a little while and they gave me a tour. And it, I was amazed at the state of the art equipment they have. They just hit a button on the computer and it just does all kinds of things. And at my age, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, we also want to thank uh, Ryan and his team, the Development Authority, and anyone else that was involved in making this happen today. Uh, the city of East Dublin is here to assist them, to support them, and to do most anything we can for them. And we wish them a long and prosperous stay here. Thank you. That's okay. That's okay. I, I get to introduce him. I get to introduce him on Friday morning sometime. If you would help me welcome with the Lawrence County Commission uh, our Vice Chairman, Mr. Trey Kemp. Good morning, y'all. So I was informed that there's going to be about 50 jobs that have, they're going to be coming out here uh, through these two different companies, and that's extremely exciting to, to Lawrence County. Um, Heath likes to say it's always a great day for doing business in Lawrence County and today it's a great day for doing business in Lawrence County and East Dublin. Um, I have the unfortunate uh, duty to let everyone know the governor was not going to be able to come today. He was scheduled to, to be uh, present and then Matt Hatchett, I'm told, um, is, was in the hospital last night yep. and so uh, he's going to be unable to attend today unfortunately. So. Uh, on behalf of both of those folks, I, I, I'd apologize for their, their not being able to be here today. Um, and on behalf of Lawrence County, thank you so much for all of you guys for showing up today. But more than anything else, congratulations on these two great companies starting up in East Dublin. It's going to be great. Thank you all. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I want to thank Brian, Nicole, Bill, Lear West, and Bailey Custom Boat for letting us come out and be part of this today. Um, what we are, I'm Michael Yon with Courageous Outdoor Kids. What we are, we're a nonprofit Dublin, Lawrence County based organization, 501c3. 
where we take kids with cancer or any other life altering disability on hunting and fishing trips. Um, it's totally 100% volunteer driven, volunteer based. You know, our landowners and everything volunteer their time to let us take these kids on these hunts. All of the guides that help with it, 100% um, volunteers. You know, they give up their time to help these kids enjoy the outdoors, something that they don't get to do like normal kids. And it makes them feel normal for a little while. And it helps them a lot, really. But if you ask any of the guides, any of the landowners, any of those, the kids actually help them more than us helping the kids. So it, it, it's a very good organization. You can follow us on Facebook at Courageous Outdoor Kids, Instagram. Uh, we have a web page, CourageousOutdoorKids.org. We've got a table set up back there. We've got a trifold that actually features a couple of our kids. It tells their story about their battle with cancer and how they beat it and how, you know, the stuff that they got to do through this organization or this type of organization has helped them, you know, get through that. And we've also got some little rack cards up there that tells some more about uh, Courageous Outdoor Kids. Uh, all of us that are board members, it's got our names, contact information, the QR code, you can scan, find out anything you need to know about it. But if any of you know of a kid that is disabled or has cancer or any other life-altering disability and they think they might be interested in it, give us a call. We'll be glad to help them and talk to them and see if we can get them out in the outdoors. But if y'all have any questions, we'll be set up back there. Myself, Tommy Wendham, we'll be back there answering any questions for you. Thank y'all. I just realized that I do not have to speak after the next gentleman that'll be speaking here, which is Dr. Fred Williams, who's chairman of the, the board of uh, Lawrence County Development Authority. And so I've heard this man speak about a half a dozen times, and uh, I don't think he needs much of an introduction, but for those of you who don't know him, Dr. Fred Williams. I'd like to say good day to everyone uh, on behalf of the entire uh, Dublin Economic Development Authority. Uh, we're peacock proud to be here before you today uh, based on uh, what has taken place with Lear West. Uh, we spent uh, countless hours uh, with Bill, Brian, and the rest of the Lear West team uh, to bring this to fruition. Uh, we're extremely excited. One of the things that we uh, pride ourselves on also is making connections, and we have been doing that uh, really with the uh, workforce talent as well as we continue uh, to foster talent at all the area high schools, Oconee Fall Line, uh, Technical College, and we're excited about what that means. Also, we have a website, and I want to read that to you so I get it right, careers.dlcda.com. Uh, and for those job seekers, you can find uh, great uh, job opportunities for Lear West on that particular website. And again, we're excited that uh, Lear West has chosen their expansion here in the East Dublin community, and we're excited what that means for this community. So again, we say thank you for uh, being a tremendous partner, and we look forward to great things to come. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, Dublin Wind Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road. Or give us a call at 478-272-3585 at Dublin Wind Nelson. Hi, I'm Brandy, and I would like to invite you to experience our newly renovated mammography suite at the Fairview Park Hospital Breast Center. Our Breast Center has its own dedicated entrance with a relaxing boutique-like waiting area. You can make your appointment online anytime at fairviewparkhospital.com 
or by calling 478-274-3919. Most appointments take 30 minutes or less and we will have your results back to your doctor within 24 hours. At this time, if you would help me welcome Mr. Brian DePorzio. Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming out today. Pretty exciting day for us. It's been a pretty long battle trying to get this place up, and we're almost there. Uh, still working out a few of the kinks, but uh, the city has been really excellent to us. I mean, everybody, the people, couldn't say enough about them. Um, I do want to mention, you know, probably couldn't have happened without my father, um, but he's uh, been an inspiration in my life. Um, so, on another note, so I just, uh, we're going to raffle off um, these, um, we made them here, this uh, flag with the uh, eagle on it. So that's what we're going to raffle off. We made these on the water jet um, just to kind of give you an idea of some of the capabilities that, that we have here. And uh, I also wanted to mention, don't forget uh, Courageous Kids. They, uh, they've they got a raffle going on. Uh, they're selling tickets. Are you guys still selling your tickets for the gun raffle? Oh, okay. Never mind. Great organization either way. If you guys, uh, you know, can help. Please do. Great, great organization. And thanks everybody for coming. Uh, enjoy the food and uh, have a great day. Now, again, we just want to thank everybody for coming. Um, uh, Bank of the Ozarks, want to thank them for everything they've done. Ryan Walter has been a tremendous help here with the uh, Development Authority. I want to thank all the employees of Lear West, uh, Statesboro, and Dublin. Uh, we actually looked at expanding our Statesboro plant and then. This plant come along and Brian really pushed Lawrence County and everything that the technical colleges are doing here is just great. Uh, we're gonna bring a lot of jobs here and do a lot of expansion in the future. And uh, just wanna thank everybody. And uh, a lot of technology here now, we got more equipment coming. And uh, any way we can help uh, the community, we're gonna try to do that. Uh, again, Courageous Kids, great. Uh, uh, Great to help those kids, and uh, just want to thank everybody. So um, thank you all. Kim and I are just so happy to be here in East Dublin and, and start this new venture. Um, opening this new location in East Dublin provides LWF the opportunity to continue to grow, and with growth comes increased job opportunities for East Dublin and surrounding communities. We also want to thank our friends, our family, and our LWF employees for all their help and support through this process. Mm -hmm.